For my next sewing project, I've decided to make a cape and I chose McCall's 8029. I want to make view C and I actually have three fabrics here that I want to somehow incorporate into this make. So it has six pieces and I was looking through all the pieces and what I really like is that there is this front here so I can see using something different for the front facing and then there's a hood. The view that I want to make has a hood and then there's the belt. So somehow or another, I plan to mix up the three different fabrics. So let me show you the fabric. I found some of this fabric at a thrift store. This is some wool that I found maybe a year ago at Savers. And let's see, I broke down how much I picked up. This is about two and a quarter yards of wool fabric. So since I have the most of this, I may use this for like the actual cape, you know, the whole cape, and then maybe use these other pieces as like the smaller portions, like maybe the hood or the collar or something like that. So this piece, I just picked up a yard a day or two ago from Joann Fabrics because I knew I had this and I was like, okay, that may work together. So these kind of coordinate. Then I picked up this wool fabric that I found at a thrift store. This is a yard and three eighths worth of fabric. And it has little white specks in it. Well, white and blue specks. I thought it would be cute to kind of mix these fabrics together somehow or another. So we'll see what I end up coming up with. Okay, so I have all of the pieces cut out and I decided that I didn't really need this dark brown color so I chose not to use that. So I have the front kind of just draped on here just one half of it so it won't really look like this at all but I'm just using this as a base because this is going to be like the main color and then this is like the front facing but I just folded it in half so I'm thinking that it, there'll be a front facing here. What is this? Is that a belt? Okay, that must be the belt. Then there will be another front facing on this side. Something like that. And then this is going to be the belt. So let's see how that's going to look. The belt should go something like this and then the hood so for the hood i want the lining to be this color and this to be the outside so let's kind of see if i can picture what that will look like so i'm just going to roughly place this in here some kind of way okay so I decided to pin the hood together to get a better idea of what it should look like so I'm thinking when it's all said and done that it'll look like this so the main fabric will be on the inside of the hood so when the hood is flapped open you'll see this main part and then if I decide to put the hood up and wear it up then you should have the outer plaid portion matching the belt and the front facing so this is a rough very rough idea or look of what it will look like in the end so now it's just time to go ahead and get sewing I am really really happy with the way that this cape turned out I can see myself wearing it often, especially if it's not too cold outside. I think it would be great to just throw on for days like that. So I did want to mention that all of the edges are supposed to be left undone, unfinished. And what I decided to do instead is to just surge around all of the edges just to clean them up a little bit. The other change that I made is to the belt. So the belt was supposed to be sewn with the wrong sides together. 
I did it the opposite and just sewed the belt with the right sides together, left an opening, pulled the belt through the hole, and then closed the hole back up. Other than that, I didn't make any other changes, and this is the final result. I really like it. Okay. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. It is against the law to get a divorce in the Philippines. 